Behind bars now for nine years, his vast riches gone and contact with friends and family mostly denied. But Mikhail Khodorkovsky's power is growing. The former richest man in Russia has become a poster boy for the opposition. To them, his continued imprisonment is just another example of a judiciary controlled by the state. In response to questions Al Jazeera sent to him in prison, he outlined how he saw the future of Russia's protest movement. The apathy of the public is dwindling. The urban middle class is gaining the feeling of political importance and identity, and public activity is spreading from the capital to the provinces. People want to define their destiny. Inside the country there is now a demand for change, for modern state institutions and for political competition. The ability of the authorities to respond to this demand is doubtful if it sticks to this archaic regime. I asked him if he thought President Putin was capable of responding to the protest movement's demands. In my opinion, no. And this means that tensions will increase with each passing year. A week after Putin resumed control, Russia's Supreme Court rejected Khodorkovsky's appeal against a second prison term. His original sentence for embezzlement and tax evasion that ran out last year was superseded by a second longer term. A request for clemency was turned down by Putin's predecessor as the oil magnet still maintains his innocence. What to do about Khodorkovsky is one of the new president's biggest headaches. Keep him in locked up risks turning into a martyr to the opposition's cause. But releasing him without an admission of guilt would mean Putin losing face and could re-energize the whole protest movement. I think that releasing Khodorkovsky would be the last thing uh, they would do because they're afraid that by releasing him, uh, opposition would get an icon, would get a symbol, would get a figure which might be a unifying figure. And uh, then uh, the biggest problem for the opposition, lack of leadership, would be resolved. So that's why I think that Khodorkovsky is doomed to stay in jail until we come to power. My last question to Khodorkovsky asked if he felt deserted by the business world he used to be such a major player in. He said the opposite was true. He believes worldwide support has probably kept him alive during these long years in prison. And now the opposition is refusing to let him disappear from view. Sutezen, Al Jazeera, Moscow.